Imagine, if you can, that you're a kid again, concerned with everything a child is concerned about. Friends, family, fun. However, on top of that, food is far from a certainty and another year of missing school fees is just around the corner. Every hope and dream, insight and innovation waits because of the daily pressures of poverty. It's as if you were painting a picture, the most beautiful landscape in mind, but with no paint and no brush. For 27 years, Children of Promise has sought to meet children where they are. Nearly 14,000 children have been sponsored by loving partners all around the globe. Partnering with a child is like handing them the paint and the brush and saying, go. From that moment on, a new horizon is open to each child and the sky's the limit. Yeah, my name is Dr. Jacob Ismail Irunde. I am a beneficiary of the Child of Promise. I was born in a small village called Masawia, Tanzania. When I was doing my primary school, I was confined in my village. I did not have a world view of the country itself. Then when I completed my primary school, yes, I did very well but my parents were not able to pay for my school fees. Mimi wajana na yote zegele robat. Giro toga ya rutoni chule ya duru sepa school. Mimi kwa masomo yangu na ndae vizuri na salima fedeli wangu na wapenda sana mungu wa bariki. I feel very happy because children of promise has enabled me to get job. Uh, I went to Aldersgate Secondary School and I graduated from Form 4 in 2001. I worked with Aldersgate for two years. And after Aldersgate, I came down to work with Children of Promise. The Children of Promise is helping uh, needy children because we are working among the uh, poor communities mostly and most of our children, Sunday school children, are non-Christians and they are very poor. And some they could not attend school because lack of uh, some, some uh, financial and other school needs. So the Children of Promise is helping them rice, nutrition and school materials and that is that is very good for them and many children they can attend the school because of children of promise supporting them very uh, uh, taking care of their uh, food and nutrition and school materials and also their health so some of our children they have a, a benefit from uh, you know, from a uh, health problem. So I went for my PhD for three years, and I thank God last year, it was on December 21st, is when I graduated. <laughs> graduated for your yeah, PhD. Then I met different people. I met people from all over the country. Actually, that was a kind of opening my mind. Yeah, because I had my own world by then, but now it was a new experience. So I met different people, I met different ideas. Actually, they made me different. <laughs> yeah, they made me different. Okay, okay.
be it poverty, blindness, or persecution, COP children face all kinds of challenges in their formative years. Simultaneously, there is a growing resilience, a persistent hope that partnership affords each and every child. Whether they are having a mountaintop experience or are caught in the valley, COP staff and mentors have time and time again been there to show these future leaders that there is more to them than meets the eye. You may not remember this, but when you were young, we had a discussion about you and music. And I, I asked you, if, if we send you to music school, will you use it in the church? Will you use it in the Christian message? And you assured me that you would. So it's a thrill for me these, these many years later to see you and hear you sing and see what you're doing with that. It's just wonderful. If it was up to me, I would love to see you become a great leader at the Church of God in Myanmar. Thank you so much, Elijah. My name is Dorothy Colney, and I was born in this town, and this is my home, my hometown. 1986, we started the Church of God ministry in Yangon at Bahan Township. And then the Children of Promise was introduced us by Sydney and Jean Johnson in 1995. We started with uh, five children. And since then, I become the leader of the uh, Children of Promise program. And until now, we are having uh, more than 230 children sponsored by Children of Promise program. And the children and the church benefited so much from this program. So that's why I like it very much and for the children also. And also, these children uh, are attending our Sunday school classes and they, their life changed. And when the parents saw their children, really their lives changed and they, they become interesting to attend the church. And they heard the gospel and also the parents also become Christians. In, in that way, our church is growing. The Mina Mayaro Demio Shibare, the Mia Dagaro Saguni Devi Baishin, who are Darile Alon Ayare, Nyaiwebo, Pipiajani, Judy's Ruyaro, Binyai Bego, Guya Yimanja Dio, and ไสทาริโอบ่อาลုံးปยောင်းเลยตัวเลยเอ้ยตะมีอ่ะรออกคือเอ่อล้อเมจาปัสยาปิทาบาเลยชื่อคือล้อเมจาเนี่ยเว้
I have many children stories like that, but among them, uh, now one of the children, her name is Tidate. Now she become a pastor in our church, a lady pastor and very effective and very talented and she came to my uh, Sunday school when she was only 12 years old. ตอนนี้เป็นเพื่อนเพื่อนตอนนี้แต่ว่าแม่อดีตผมผู้มีเลยเด็กออกมาเองผู้เก่งลูกๆเด็กมือซ้ายเนี่ยเวลาเขาจ
We all need a partner. We all need hope. Where would you be if those pivotal people hadn't stepped into your life? Who celebrated when you won? Who cried with you when things seemed impossible? From the vast beauty of the Tanzanian Serengeti to the mystic temples of Myanmar and on to the impossible heights of Ecuador and everywhere in between, COP is meeting kids at their point of need with good news. There is hope and God has created you for something much bigger than you could ever imagine. Denise Fuentes, tengo 18 años. Me sentía muy feliz porque había una persona en otro país que sentía la necesidad o el cariño de querer ayudar a otra persona. Yo pienso que cambió mucho mi vida porque hubo un tiempo donde fue muy difícil y llenó mi corazón. Eh, yo ya terminé el colegio hace un mes y estoy esperando poder entrar a la universidad y bueno, escoger una carrera que me guste y poder seguir sirviendo a la iglesia. La primera vez que supe que iba a ser, que iba a tener la bendición de ser hijo, un niño de promesa para mí fue una bendición. Recuerdo que fui un niño con una sonrisa sonrisa que no sé, que dije Dios gracias, porque al principio no me imaginaba tener esta bendición ni tampoco que iba a lograr, lograr tener eso, porque nunca en mi mente se me había pasado eso, pero Dios lo permitió y Dios lo hizo así. Mi vida fue, desde ahí a partir de eso, fue una bendición, porque en mi caso éramos de escasos recursos mi padre era el único que en esa época trabajaba y mi mamá era una persona que siempre pasaba con gastos médicos. Y para mí eso fue una ayuda muy grande, tanto para mí como para mi familia, para yo poder seguir con mis estudios y para mejorar también en lo económico con mis padres. Una de las bendiciones que a mí me ha gustado y me gustaría es conocer a la persona que estuvo auspiciándome todo este tiempo, mi madrina. Eh, para mí fue una bendición haberle conocido y conocer quién fue la persona que Dios puso en el corazón para que a mí me ayude y me bendiga, porque para mí fue una bendición y es un ángel que Dios lo mandó a mi vida, a la, a la vida de mi familia y para mí estoy totalmente agradecido con Dios, porque Dios para mí es todo y con Dios eh, lo tenemos todo y las bendiciones que Él nos da es por el amor que Él nos tiene a cada uno de sus hijos y esa misericordia que Dios me ha puesto a ella es una gran bendición, le considero como mi segunda madre y para mí el próximo paso es lo que a mí me bendijeron, lo que Dios me dio a mí también poder bendecir a otras personas o sea hablando de la palabra de Dios que amo mucho y que, me, que es lo que más a mí me gusta Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Giovanna Cristina Andrango Herrera, tengo 28 años. Cambió. Eh, tuve la oportunidad de terminar mi, mi colegio porque a mí me ayudaban en medicinas, en uniformes, entonces fue algo que le facilitó a mis papás. Y también tuve ayuda cuando salí del colegio, también tuve una parte de ayuda en la, en la universidad, entonces eso me permitió coger y superar. Me gustaría seguir un posgrado, me encanta la ortodoncia con los braques, que todito la estética que hay, me gustaría, mediante Dios permita seguir ortodoncia, conseguir mi posgrado. Lo más importante es, es perseverar en Dios, si nosotros perseveramos en Dios, Dios nos traerá todita las bendiciones. 
En mi caso, nuestra, mi bendición más grande fue mis padrinos. My name is Cindy Shrewsbury and I have been a Children of Promise sponsor since 1997 when I came on my first trip to Ecuador. And I, I have to tell you, if you're considering supporting the Children of Promise program, it is an amazing experience. I don't think I, I can even describe how important it's been to me. It's solidified my, my love for Ecuador, being able to watch these kids grow up, watch them get married, watch them go to college and graduate, and it's just been an amazing experience. I love all my kids, and I consider them my family. I've been in their homes eating, I've been to dinner with them, I've experienced a lot of neat things, so I strongly encourage you to Pray about it and then take the time to and spend the money. It'll be worth every penny you spend and what you get back will be far worth anything you could ever imagine. Eh, gracias a Dios a la oportunidad que Dios me bendijo. Gracias. Puedo ser ahora ingeniero mecánico de profesión. Me gradué y tengo esa bendición. Mi próximo paso es como profesional también poder con mi trabajo ayudar a mi hermana que ahora ella está estudiando la universidad y que quiero que aparte de ayudar a ella también se den, si es que Dios me bendice en salud y en trabajo, poder ayudar a otras personas, tanto haciéndoles conocer del amor de Cristo, porque cuando uno se lo tiene a Dios, se es fiel a Dios, Dios da esas bendiciones a cada uno de sus hijos. Y a veces, por más difícil que parezcan las situaciones, por más que uno diga no hay salida para Dios, hay una salida muy grande y Dios tiene planes muy grandes para sus hijos y para cada una de las personas. Así que mi próximo plan también sería bendecir a otras personas como yo también fui bendecido. <risa> So there you have it, the writings on the wall. All over this world there are children in towns, small and large, towns a little like yours, but also very different. These children have dreams just like you, just with obstacles in the way. A sleeping giant slumbers all around this world in the form of little kids who have often gone overlooked. Hope is a funny thing though. Just when it seems impossible, hope makes a way, makes dreams come alive. This sleeping giant comes to life, fueling churches, communities, and families to spread the good news of Christ all over this world. How will you be a part of this emerging hope? When you partner with a child, it makes a way for them to reach for their own dreams and see the image of God come alive inside of them.